So this is the approach you're thinking of taking. Static images from PowerPoint slides with audio narration. The advantages are that it's quick and easy, it presents all of the information very clearly, and the viewer can watch it at their leisure, they don't have to set up an appointment with a live presenter. The disadvantages are that you lose interactivity, the viewer can't stop the presenter and ask questions. It's kind of dry and boring, you lose the personal touch, it's just the facts. And you're not really taking advantage of the medium. The presenter is just reading what's on the screen. You might as well just give the booklet to the viewer and let them read it themselves. Here's another approach. I thought um, I'd first talk about why I chose the topic of examining a sustainable approach to global climate change policy for my research. So the climate change part um, so here I'm following a format popularized by the TED Talks, in which I switch back and forth between the PowerPoint slides and footage of the narrator. So I've gotten back that personal touch. The presenter makes the material more relatable, and we can also see their body language, which can carry meaning of its own, as in this example in which I go beyond the format of the TED Talks. And a different kind of feedback. So you'll remember here's you know where we would start with our upstream manufacturing use, end of life. But instead of using that as the boundary, we're looking at you know, the broader system in which uh, researchers inform the development of these technologies. And this framework... Here I'm taking full advantage of the audiovisual medium and using it in concert with the presenter's body language to draw the viewer's attention to the relevant pieces of information as they become relevant. The presenter isn't just a disembodied voice or a talking head, but a dynamic part of the presentation. Of course, sometimes there's too much information to be displayed for that approach to be effective, so we switch to a picture-in-picture -picture view like this. However, if we sort of broaden our definition of development beyond just economic value... Here we have or... all the advantages of giving full-screen real estate to the PowerPoint slide, but the presenter is still there giving us that human element. And because we can put the presenter anywhere on the screen we choose, we can keep from covering up valuable information and use her line of sight to continue to direct the viewer's attention toward what's relevant. I hope this has given you an idea of how these presentations can be made more effective by thinking of creative ways to make full use of the audiovisual medium.